Welcome to our program, Usapang Babae. I am your program host, Sir Optimist Thelma Relo de la Cruz. This TV program is the initiative of the Calibo Cable TV in partnership with the Sir Optimist International of Calibo. Sir Optimist International of Calibo, a global organization for women and girls. So, Sir Optimist International is celebrating its Sir Optimist Week on August 25 to 31. Uh, Sir Optimist International Calibo is headed by our President, Ida Bell Velarde Junella. So, welcome, President Abe for short. Good day, Doc Felma, and good day sa aton nga mga audience sa Calibo Cable sa Matgid sa Pagtao in Time. Okay. So, uh, President Abe, paki explain briefly ano ba itong Sir Optimist International? Uh, Sir Optimist International of the Americas, Philippines Region is a global organization of comprising of volunteer women of all professions. And our trust is the education and training of women and girls to improve their lives. Okay, so for this segment, uh, meron tayong mga project ng or programs ng Sir Optimist International. So, we have here our chairpersons for each uh, Sir Optimist uh, program. So, paki-introduce nga sila. Um, we have beside me is our Live Your Dream Awards um, Committee Chair, Joanna Merin. Uh, DIBI or Dream It, Be It Chair. Christine Palomar, and joining us virtually will be our Adapt a Barangay Chair Zelda Tolentino and Adapt a PNP WCPD Marion Pescasosa. Thank you, President Abby. So I'll start with this Live Your Dream Award, and the committee chair is Joanna Taimerin. So explain nga ito, ano itong program ng Sir Optimist International na for short is LIDA, L-Y-D-A Okay uh, Live Your Dreams Awards or LIDA It is um, a unique education program for women who provide the primary financial support for their families the Live Your Dream Awards give women the resources they need to improve their education, skills, and employment prospects. So, naiiba siya, Doc, because this is an education, ed educational grant that we give to women who have, who are, um, who have overcome difficulties in life. Mm -hmm. Difficulties like victims of abuse, um, survivors of domestic violence, trafficking, and women from poor families, um, victims of teen pregnancy and drug and alcohol abuse. So that makes it unique. So hindi every woman and girl, woman and girl, e pwede magano. Sino yung mga elig uh, eligible na magano? Ga apply dito sa program na ito. So basic eligibility requirements: the applicant has dependents. Dependents does not necessarily mean uh, limit, limited to children, but could be the spouse, um, parents, and siblings. Applicants has primary financial responsibility for herself and dependents. Applicant is entering or attending a high school equivalency, vocational, technical, or undergraduate degree programs. And of course, the applicant should have financial needs. The applicant does not have or not pursuing a graduate degree course. And the applicant is has completed and signed and should include references to validate the application process. Okay, so of course, it's your uh, team because you have a team for that, diba? So yes, to, to process kung they are really worth for the program. Okay. So, why do the Sir Optimist do it? Because um, Sir Optimist believe that education is the pathway to economically empowering women and girls. So, when women and girls are educated, they have all the opportunity, the choice, the power to make healthy decisions for themselves and their families. 
Okay. So, of course, as an Optimist International Calibo, you have already some candidates for this program. And, iba nanalo pa tayo. So, sino yun? And how did... Our SIK LYDA 2023 winner is Denise Alicia Sabado, a graduate of Senior High School of the Candelaria National High School. Uh, she is now taking BSIT at the Garcia College of Technology. So from the club level, club level meaning the whole province of Aklan, she won 10,000 pesos. And for the district level, district level we have four other clubs of, from the Western Visayas. She won 20,000 pesos. And for the region, as regional finalist, she won 3,000 US dollars. Ginagamit na niya yung kanyang educational grant for this um, college course, college degree. Okay, so that 3,000 dollars, makakatapos talaga siya ng kanyang ano? Hopefully, kanyang Doc. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, okay. makatapos siya with the amount. And of course, the, it's your function to monitor, di ba? Ginamonitor niyo siya. Kung talagang okay ba yung mga grades niya, she's spending the money talagang napanalunan niya for the education, not for any other else, di ba? Marami pang informasyon ang ating malalaman tungkol sa Sir Optimist na mga programs pagkatapos lamang ng ilang mga paalala. Tuloy natin ang ating usapan tungkol sa Sir Optimist uh, programs. Okay. So this time, uh, tatawagin ko si Christine Palomar kasi siya yung chairperson dito sa program na DIBI for short pero uh, Dream It, Be It. So Christine, ano ba itong program na DIBI? Good day to all the televiewers of Calibo Cable. Well, to answer your question, uh, Doc Felma, uh, Dream It, Be It was one of the programs of Sir Optimist um, wherein they addressed the needs of girls in secondary school for guidance in or mentorship for their careers. Um, so they have identified girls within the age range of 14 to 18 who have faced obstacles in their um, to, to their successes are at risk of having their dreams derailed. Um, they lack the access to professional role models. Um, they do not have access to career education and they do not know what steps to take to accomplish their goals. That's why this was incepted doc in 2015 and since then it has been pursued until the present nine years. We also adopt this uh, program of uh, DIBI here in also in our locality here in Calibo. So what's the global impact? Because this is an international organization. So what's the global impact on this, of this program? 
Yes. So um, globally, we have uh, had already around 20,000 girls who have participated in 15 countries and territories around the world. And here in Calibo, we have had it already twice before the pandemic. And during the pandemic, we held it, uh, Doc Felma, mm -hmm. virtually. And at present, during the presidency of Abby Janela, we have done it twice. So okay. that's the impact that this program has reached. So, during that time, we had this program at uh, mga secondary schools, in it? So, uh, let's uh, view the video clip regarding this uh, program, the IBI. Dream it, be it. Career support for girls. The IBI for girls gives girls the tools they need to achieve their education and career goals, empowering them to break cycles of poverty violence and abuse by giving them the self-confidence and knowledge they need to achieve success in their future careers and personal lives. Sir Optimus launched the Dream It Be It curriculum in 2015. Since then, more than 20,000 girls around the world have participated. This program seeks to reach girls who do not have access to the resources or information to live their dreams. We focus on girls in secondary school who in most cases are between the ages of 14 and 18. Girls of other ages might benefit from the program, but we identified this need for these girls in the year-long research done to create the program. All girls face barrier because of their gender. We are trying to reach girls that have additional obstacles, including poverty, unstable home lives, living in foster care, or are teen mothers. Helping these girls identify their career goals and path to success will help them to overcome the barriers and obstacles they face in the future. For this year, the Seraptimus International of Calibo were able to hold two conferences. On February 18, 2023, at the Aklan National High School for the Arts and Trade, and the second DIBI conference was held at the same school this March 11, 2023, less than a month from the first DIBI held. Thanks to our dynamic Sir Optimist International of Calibo, Ate volunteer facilitators, and to the ever supportive ANSAT administrators, faculties, and personnel for helping us achieve our goals. Inspiration. Yeah ay ko nga para maging sure ako sa ako nga ginag-take nga course or strand pagkapot sa senior high. Nakagain po ako uh, so much uh, confidence po ngayon kasi especially po sa pag-take ko po ng uh, course na kukuhain ko in the future. And yun po no, yung course ko po na uh, iti-take it's either po civil law or labor law. Ma overcome ka po yung um, sa self low esteem po. Kasi hindi pa po ako parang masyadong um, confident magsalita in public and sa mga ganto is parang hindi ako comfortable makipag-usap obstacle mga na, number one obstacle ko nga nakaharap ay do financial problem and family obligation. Pero akong batya gay positive ga po nako ma'am kasi suwat kaya ano ba ya? I know I still feel positive because I know I can pass this. I don't see this as hindrance or problem at all. It's just a challenge and I know aside from this, there's more to come. Here are some pictures of your DIBA program. So please explain what are these pictures? Oh, so here in the background, uh, flashing before you, we have the different activities which have been going on in the past nine years. Every time that the uh, Dream It Be It is held, um, the Dream It Be It um, activity can be held in a small mentoring group activity, or it can be held with a group, a large group of girls in a conference style. Here in Kalibo Aklan, we've done it conference style, both pre-pandemically and at present. Um, so here you see pictures of girls um, discovering their dreams through certain activities, exploring careers, 
by identifying their strengths. Are they creative? Are they analytical? There are a lot of tools that we have given them, a lot of tools that the curriculum has given them, which has helped them identify their strengths so that they can um, pursue uh, a career which is best for them. In this picture, we can see that they are taught how to rise above obstacles, how to turn failure into success, and even balancing stress, which we have identified that during the pandemic, uh, a lot of them have been going through a lot of stress. And finally, putting their dreams into action. So all these pictures that you see right now are the activities that have been going on in all the conferences that SI Calibo has been holding Doc Felma. So during the conference or the meetings, you had the group meetings, they were able to express, they were able to uh, discover of our sort of optimist uh, members who mo mentored them during these uh, group discussions. So what more can you add? Yes, that's right, Doc Felma. And um, the beauty of this uh, Dream It Be It is such na the, the girls realize na they are not alone and that they have um, role models to look up to, role models willing to help. And may I use this time to call out to the public na um, all these activities of Sir Optimist, including this Dream It Be It, relies on funds. No? So when we um, fund funding and partnership, so Sir Optimist is open to uh, partner with you, whichever agency or whoever NGO there is available to partner with us in pursuing uh, this career guidance for girls. And yun, basically. And uh, the the uh, Sir Optimist members who uh, who attended those conferences were able to uh, explain or to this uh, attendees kung ano ba ang gusto nila magkunin yung mga career guidance ano mga kurso iba kung ano yung mga mga hilig nila so that would help them also uh, decide what course to take, isn't it? That's right, Doc. Actually, in fact, it has boosted their confidence in their um, choices. In fact, after surveys of previous uh, conferences, um, evaluations fo evaluation forms have brought back percentages revealing an increase of 87% confidence in choosing their careers. They understand, 89% understand how their values can connect to possible careers and they feel more um, confident about their future success. Marami pang mga kaalaman ang ating malalaman tungkol sa Sir Optimist sa programs pagkatapos lamang ng ilang mga paalala. Hmm! bago nyo makakasama sa galaan. Kalibo Cable Television Network proudly presents to you Henyo Carl Pintero on Mosyon Waranta. Samahan ang inyong kuya Carl sa pagpapatuloy ng paghahanap ng affordable, irreplaceable and travel lovable na mga lugar sa loob at labas ng probinsya ng Aklan na dapat mong mapuntahan. Catch Henyo Carl Pintero on Mosyon Waranta Thursdays, 3pm on Kalibo Cable Television Network. See the difference. So ngayon, kasama naman natin virtually yung dalawang chairperson sa uh, program ng Sir Optimist International, yung program na Adapt a Barangay, Maria Selda Tolentino, at ang Adapt a PNP WCPD, si Marion Merced Pescasiota. So welcome. Hello, good day sa lahat ng mga uh, kay Dr. Rafael Ma. And sa lahat ng mga nanunood ngayon sa ating programang Usapang Babae. Uh, thank you for um, inviting me today.
to talk about the adapted barangay program of Soroptimis International of Calipo. Good day everyone sa lahat ng mga nakikinig at nanonood ngayon sa segment na to ng Usapang Babae ni Doc Felma ng Soroptimist International of Calipo. It is really my pleasure to be here at this time. So going back to Soroptimist Zelda. Soroptimist Zelda, ano ba itong Adapt a Barangay Program na isang programa ng Soroptimist International of Calipo? Um, the Adopt a Barangay Program is one of the identifying programs of the Seroptimist International of uh, the Philippines region, which is also adopted by the Seroptimist International of Calibo. So, um, this aims to provide assistance to marginalized women in the chosen barangay. So, the Adopt a Barangay Program of Seroptimist International of Calibo uh, aims to adapt the needs of the poorest and most vulnerable communities in the area. This pro, uh, through this program, the organization partners with the barangay and provides assistance in the form of livelihood programs, health and education services, environmental awareness and sustainability, and other initiatives that aim to improve the quality of life of the residents of the community, especially the women. So, Sir Optimus Helda, so ano ang adapted barangay natin, itong Bayinium? So, in this, uh, bay, for this Bayinium, we have chosen uh, Bacau Norte, uh, Barangay Bacau Norte, Calibo. Okay. So, ano itong mga activities na nagawa na natin? Um, so far, no, uh, we started our um, program with a uh, uh, MOA signing with the uh, uh, barangay captain and the councillors no, last uh, last year. Uh, um, during this MOA signing, uh, we were we uh, did a tree planting for the uh, environmental awareness and sustainability we planted trees um fruit fruit trees no uh, and other um other plants no that that can survive in that area last year during the typhoon peeng we gave out um food packs to the residents of barangay bakaw norte and we identified five families no Na, nasi, na nasira yung kanilang bak, mga bahay. So, we gave um, housing materials like um, hollow blocks, cement, and roofing materials. Last March 2023, during the nas- celebration of the National Women's Month, we, um, we, I, uh, we invited some of our beneficiaries uh, from Bacau Norte to attend you know, the uh, National Women's Month celebration held at the Dr. Rafael Estumbucon Memorial Hospital. Um, we gave lectures on women's health and women's rights, and we gave free pap smear and ultrasound um, procedures. Okay, so mga selected women yon. So, yes. 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 United Nations celebration. Yes, since one of the major programs of the activities of the Seroptimist International of Calibo and the uh, Seroptimist International, the whole region of Seroptimist International is UN, the UN Day celebration. Uh, so we uh, held it at the school of Bacau Norte. So this was at Bacau Norte Integrated School. We did um, painting contest and quiz B contest uh, with the participation of the students there. Um, so part of the we- women's celebration, also last March, we uh, gave out five gadgets to deserving students and so that um, it will help them in their education. Yung mga maswerte, mga yun, selected talaga sila, though to cannot really afford. Yes. So, syempre, may mga future plans pa tayo uh, dun sa barangay Bacau Norte na yun. Ano yes, yun? Um, since this is a two-year program, so for the year 2023 and to 2024, 
um, this our this is uh, these are our future plans no uh, giving of school supplies and uniforms to grade one and kindergarten students we did this already last week no we gave okay. out the school supplies and um, uh, certif- gift certificates for uniforms for the kinder students and then we will be scheduling skill skills training such as food preservation arts and and arts and crafts and then lectures for mental health uh, maybe this september and parent parenting <clears throat> and we will also be awarding scholarships to some of our students at bacao norte integrated school so yun yung mga deserving students talaga do so pinipili naman yun may mga criteria naman so yes. sana eto mga future plans do doable naman ito do ba actually na start ninyo nung uh, before the before yung mga klase magbukas so thank you sir Optimistilda and then uh, sana ma ma attain natin itong mga plans and it should be a continuing program sir optimist Marion kaun chair person person dito sa adapt a PNPWC PD a program ng Sir Optimist International. Paki ano nga itong PNPWCPD na ano program? Paki define nga itong program na ito. Uh, thank you Dr. Felma. Uh, I'm really humbled by this opportunity where in I am given given the chance no to speak uh, about the program uh, Adapa PNPWCPD of the Sir Optimist International of Calibo. Adapa PNPWCPD is also one of the identifying projects of the Soroptimist International of the Philippines region. This provides a focal point for projects of clubs in the Philippines. This was established actually in 1981. This has contributed to the impetus of Soroptimist growth in the Philippines through service to women and girls in the barangay, the smallest unit of government in the country. So basically, the ADAPT a PNPWCPD was established purposely to help women and children who were really abused in the society, they being the vulnerable segment of our society. A sound working relationship with local officials in barangay women fosters cooperation, facilitates logistic arrangements and ensures the success of projects benefiting women and girls in the community. So, ano bakit ba kasi nung panahon niyan wala eh. So, meron may nangyari oh, from the Sur Optimist International uh, the Philippines region. So, uh, correct the history um this was uh brought about because women and children were really those who are greatly affected or victims of violence that are brought about by gender inequalities the president then uh, President Fidel V. Ramos mandated the PNP to operationalize nationwide what we call the PNP Women's Desk. And this was on March 3, 1993, to curb the violence against women and children. It was Dirty Perona of the National Commission of the Rights of Filipino Women who made a call. The Soroptimist International uh, of Makati member then Carmen Araneta Flor in answer to this call rallied the community to support the operationalization of the PNP Women's Desk. This was adopted as an identifying project of the Soroptimist International of the Philippines region headed by its governor, Attorney Gladys S.J. Tiongko for Bayinium 1994-1996. And since then, until now, this has become an empowering project for the SI or the Sir Optimist International of the Philippines region all throughout the Philippines. Since then, this has become an empowering project for the Sir Optimist International Philippines region with that uh, purpose of minimizing if not eliminating violence against women and children. 
So maybe before, naging presidente si Presidente Del Ramos, since gali siya sa military, may aware na siya na sa mga ganitong kaso na hindi masyado napapansin. Although, siyempre, sinafile lang din ha. Pero siyempre, uh, hindi naman perfect yung ating mga mga follow-up na ganyan. So, on his own, tapos nag-coordinate siya dito sa Suroptimist International, dito sa SM Makati, and the president then, na kailangan eh, sa mga NGO, merong magsusupport sa government. So, ano itong sa, dito sa atin, sa Kalibo, ano naman yung ginawa ng ating organisasyon? Ah, yes, Doc. Thank you. The Suroptimist International of Kalibo uh, adopted three PNP WCPDs, and these are the WCPD of Lezo Aklan, the WCPD of Banga, and the WCPD of New Washington. So sometime in August last year, we have forged a memorandum of agreement with these three PNP WCPDs. Okay. So, hindi natin kaya yung buong aklan, ha? So, dito naman. Siguro, uh, ano yung criteria? Ba't pinili nyo itong, ano, itong tatlong uh, towns? Um, the criteria here, Doc, is that we chosen the WCPDs who have really a uh, okay. number of cases respecting uh, abuses or gender inequalities. And um, we also uh, selected them because uh, there are a number of uh, children and women who were victims of abuse in this WCPDs. So, what do we do here in Sir Optimist? Okay, so part of the memorandum of agreement with these PNP WCPDs is that we conduct le- lecture or forum on the rights of women and children in selected areas of the community. Um, so we have this uh, webinar last year, and uh, this webinar is on is of course online through Zoom. And this is about the RA10630 or an act strengthening the juvenile justice system. And our resource speaker then was Attorney Noemi Citruya Abarientos. This is well participated. Uh, our audience here were the law students from Athlet Catholic College and um, lawyers from the integrity integrated bar of the philippines aklan chapter and some sir optimist members um and apart from this no we are also we were also invited in the women's month celebration of the municipality of new washington and then uh we also were invited as speaker at the Turalba National High School at Banga Aklan. And also uh, with the local government unit of um, uh, municipality of Lezo, wherein this was spearheaded by the uh, MSWD of Lezo. We talked about uh, several topics. Like, for example, the anti-violence against women and children, uh, the law on the Safe Spaces Act or the Vowsing Law. We also lecture, conducted lecture on uh, the Solo Parenting Act. We also informed the community of the existence of the Police Community Relations Office or the PNP Women and Children's Protection Desk where crimes can be reported. So this is also a part of the topics that we share to the community. So we're really very happy that we have this opportunity to talk to not only women, but uh, students or children in the community because uh, we get to be speakers of uh, different schools in Aklan and share with them that they have uh, they can, their rights can be protected and they can report whatever abuses they are experiencing to the PNP WCPD desks. 
We also assist the PCRO or the PMPWCPD through SI Calibo lawyer members in the preparation of the information or the report whenever they need our assistance in filing cases against perpetrators of abuse of women and children. So we have this um, GC in the Facebook Messenger where from time to time, the, the heads and the members of the WCPDs of this adopted PMPWCPDs can contact us immediately whenever they needed clarification when it comes to filing their cases. And um, sometime in November, we also uh, sent one PNP member of the Banga PNPWCPD uh, in the name of Police Corporal Justin P. Teodosio, we sent her to the PNP Summit uh, that is being also organized by the Seraptimist International of the Philippines region. Uh, this summit is purposely organized to equip women in our PNPWCPD with the necessary information and uh, knowledge to enhance and to deliver border services to these abused women and children in the community. We also assist the PCROP and PWCPD in securing assistance for the aggrieved women or children. We were really very happy that uh, most of this, the organizations now, especially um, the government organization in the Gender and, um, Development Commission and, and other organizations of the government, we're really very happy that they are now starting to recognize our role in the Seraptimist International of Calipo uh, in this um, rally towards the protection of aggrieved women and children. We were invited to the um, 18 day Vowsi to end Vowsi campaign uh, by the provincial government. And uh, we were we were there also to witness and be one of those who pledged commitment to end the 18 day campaign to to end the violence against women and children. I would like to end this uh, segment by saying that Sur Optimist focuses on education because educated women and girls are less vulnerable to sex traffickers, they are more likely to live with domestic violence, they are able to access health care, they are less likely to live in poverty, and they are able to raise stronger, healthier families. Sir Optimist Zelda, please say your last message. Okay, um, thank you very much for again for inviting me to talk about the one of the major programs of Sir Optimist International Calibo. I just want, would like to take this opportunity to thank our donors and uh, those who are have supported supported our program, you no, know, in any way that they could. The members of the Seroptimists and other organizations who have um, supported us, and we hope that uh, through this program we are able to empower women um, who are victims of abuse and those who are uh, single parents and other women who have been marginalized. Thank you again. Okay, so Sir Optimist Marion, your last message? I would conclude this uh, segment by uh, sharing to you that um, it is really very important that we have uh, knowledge in the law and knowledge on how our rights are protected as women and also to in a way to protect our young girls who are really very vulnerable uh, segment of our society um, let us join together so that this community will be a violence free community and that uh, we go hand in hand together to empower every woman and every girl in our society.
thank you and God bless all of us. So may I have the final words from the three of you? Okay, so I'll, uh, first, uh, President Abi. Okay, thank you, Doc Felma, for this interview and for the Kalibo Cable for always uh, gener being generous to the Suraptimist International of Kalibo. Um, salamat ng marami sa aming mga sponsors and benefactors sa lahat ng tumutulong sa amin sa, sa Suraptimist. Dahil dito, sa 40 years na po ang Suraptimist International of Kalibo, uh, 40 years na rin tumutulong sa mga kababaihan na magkaroon ng confidence sa sarili, iahon ang pamilya at ang buong komunidad. Uh, sana po hindi kayo magsawa sa pagtulong sa amin. Thank you. Oh, yeah. How about you, Duana? What's your final say? Final words? Um, for those who are interested to apply for the LYDA uh, program, um, open na po ang application until November 15. So, those who wish to start a new beginning, ito na po ang chance. So, um, ang age naman po ay we have as young as 17, 18 and as um, age advanced as to um, 40s. So, um, if you are willing na mabago ang buhay, at kayo ay may mga napagdaanan na mga um, obstacles that we may be able to help. Ito na po yung chance. So, you may check the website of Sir Optimist International under LYDA program. Or you may contact us po for more details and application. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, Christine, what's your last say about Bye. your DIBI? Thank you, Doc Felma. For Dream It, Be It, as we I said earlier that our activities um, depend on the availability of our fellow Seroptimists. So this can be an invitation to all the ladies out there who would like to be members of Seroptimist who share the same um, dreams and aspirations with us, um, setting girls and women free through education. And let this be also an invitation to um, local government units or NGOs to partner with us um, so that we can hold another conference sometime soon in this year and this is also an invitation to the men out there who are listening that um, your sisters, mothers and, and daughters will benefit from this so let us take care of them and support their dreams. Thank you. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsama sa amin ni SIK President Abby. Chairpersons uh, Joanna and Christine, and virtually Marion and uh, Zelda dito sa Usapang Babae TV program. Ngayon, alam na ninyo na meron palang isang international organization for women and girls na may mga proyekto para sa ikakabuti ng mga babaeng nakaranas ng paghihirap at abuso sa buhay at gustong umangat sa buhay sa pamamagitan ng edukasyon. Ako ang inyong program host, Velma Relo de la Cruz, sa muli nating pagsama sa mga susunod na mga segment. Thank you and congratulations SIK Ladies in celebration of Sir Optimist Week. Sa inyong lahat ng mga taga-aklan, northern part of Antique, Bohol through Safra Cable TV Network, at sa, no sa mga nanonood sa buong mundo ng Facebook and YouTube channel, salamat at good day.